We've owned a lot of campers and we spent two months building our dream camper with everything that we had to live full time. And we've been living in it full time for over a year now. And we've learned some tips and tricks that we wanna share with you guys. So without further ado, here are our top, I don't know how many tips and tricks for living in an RV. Something that we found in a lot of campers we owned in the past is there was never somewhere for the trash to go. So when I found this trash can, it solved all of our problems. It's collapsible, so when you're not using it, you can push it flat and it's super low profile. It just takes a normal bag from the grocery store, which means we don't have to buy trash bags. When trying to figure out where to mount it, we realized if we put it on the door, then we can open the door and we can get the trash outside out of the way. Or if we've got a campsite set up outside, we don't have to go into the camper to throw the trash away. I'm gonna put a link to everything that we use below, but I think that this is one of the most inexpensive modifications we made that really improves our lifestyle. There's another special feature about this door that we learned from owning RVs in the past, and that is the door catch that holds the door open. Every RV we've owned always had that little T-hook that goes in the door, and I can't tell you how many of them Riley has ripped off. This is the coolest thing ever. It's just this little, wait, where does it even? It's up top. Oh, we moved it. <laughs> the door catch is just this little plastic thing that goes into this rubber cup. It's strong enough to hold the door open even when it's a little bit windy, but to close the door, you don't have to unhook anything. You just grab the door and close it. It also works really well if you're in the camper, you can just fling the door open and you don't have to latch anything. It's already latched out of your way. Before I can tell you about this hack, I probably should finish installing it. Snacks. <laughs> I had no idea how much stuff I had scrolled away in this cabinet. But it's also the reason that I've put off installing this because I haven't felt like showing Courtney how many things I have hidden. <laughs> we have his and hers cabinets in here. So this is my cabinet on my side of the bed and this is Riley's cabinet on his side of the bed. We have very different priorities. Before I cut it, that it says 12 volts. Oh my gosh, they make it so you cannot read. I can read the light. Mm -hmm. Step one, destroy it. No going back. I don't know. I think um, this one is the other wire. But we're about to find out. Okay. Which is the negative and which is the positive? Guess that this is positive and this is negative. Yes. The inner one is the positive. I probably should have done this before I stripped the wires. It lit up. That's exciting. <laughs> With, wait, I can turn the inverter off though. Yep. So until now to use our Google Home speaker, we've always had the inverter on. Now it'll just be on all the time, no matter what. Awesome. Hey Google, play some tunes. Playing some music on Pandora. When Courtney and I first moved into the camper, we didn't have a reliable internet and we spent days searching for coffee shops or hotels and begging them to use their Wi-Fi to try to upload videos. Then I discovered this MoFi router. It accepts a SIM card and gives us a reliable internet connection anywhere we are. Then once we had reliable internet in the camper, we could start adding smart home devices to make our lives easier, such as this Google Home Mini that makes it super easy to play music in the camper. Another aspect to our smart camper with our Wi-Fi is our smart TV that we can stream all sorts of things on, like YouTube. Another cool feature about having internet in the camper all the time means that we can add like a ring doorbell to the side of this and check in on who's visiting. It says we're in Tonopah. <laughs> Another really cool thing about having dedicated internet in the camper is we can use this tablet for navigation and music in the truck and it doesn't have to have a dedicated data plan or a hotspot from one of our phones. I love the tablet. Being our primary navigator, it's so nice to have navigation and stuff running on the tablet and still be able to use my phone for phone things. And I love the tablet because I'm a terrible listener and now I can see the instructions. And now it's time to talk about one of our top questions, which is the toilet. There are lots of toilet options out there. We opted for a cassette toilet and we have not regretted it. Emptying this oh. thing. <laughs> Why did it just drip? You just dribble sometimes at the top. <laughs> I got on my shoe. I don't care how you slice it, the toilet in an RV is always gonna be gross. We found this one to just be a little bit less gross than other ones we've used and a lot more convenient. We simply empty this into the toilet at a rest stop or a convenient porta potty if we can find one and we're on our way. No more searching for dump sites. 
However, last summer we did discover a downside to this toilet, which is when it got hot, it got pretty stinky inside. But we figured out a hack that solved that problem. We added this little tiny 12 volt fan to the outside of the toilet that pulls air through the toilet 24 hours a day, and that has eliminated the smell entirely. Essentially, it's a mini exhaust fan that exhausts the smelly air outside rather than into the camper. Which does mean it can get a little stinky standing back here. <laughs> so beware, if you ever see us parked, don't stand back here. One of our most asked questions on this channel is how do I edit our videos? And the truth is that before we started YouTube, I had zero experience. I learned a lot of lessons the hard way and I wish that I had found Skillshare sooner. So a big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and giving you guys the chance to try it for free. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. It's the perfect way to invest in yourself and your personal growth. Over the past few months, I've been trying to take the leap from editing in iMovie to Final Cut Pro. I recently turned into Skillshare's course by Ali called Video Editing with Final Cut Pro and I really wish that I'd found it sooner. Skillshare is ad-free and there are new premium courses launched each week, making sure that there's always something new to discover. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of you to sign up with the code AMBITIONSTRIKES or use the link below will get a one month free trial. So go check out Skillshare today and get on your way to learning a new skill. This is a modification we just made that I wish we had done a long, long time ago because it's made a huge difference. We added a full view camera system from Brand Motion that's that makes it way easier to back up. Plus, it's got another cool trick. We took the rear view mirror out of this truck a long time ago because all I could see in it was Boone's face and that was pretty distracting. One of the cool things about this system is that it replaces the rear view mirror entirely and it's on all the time. So it's not only a camera when we're backing up, it's also a camera when we're driving down the road, allowing us to see what's behind us. It has a front and a rear facing camera that record on a constant loop, essentially making it a security camera as well. Brand Motion also has a similar camera system for the back of a travel trailer so that you can see what's behind the trailer at all times. I love Boone, but sometimes he's a pain in the butt. Boone loves other dogs so much that when he sees them when we're driving, he gets so excited that he'll actually like claw at the door to try to get out to play with them. I wish that we'd found these sooner because then our door wouldn't look like that. These three clips just slide into the window, it Velcros on and it protects the door. These are such an inexpensive solution to protect our back doors from the dogs. And I'm gonna put these in every vehicle we own now. Another thing that's a must for traveling with Riley and the dogs is this DeWalt vacuum. It makes it so easy to keep the truck and the camper clean. It's super portable and these batteries work with all of our other power tools as well. We also carry other hand tools with us so this is an all-in-one solution to keep all of our tools powered. Definitely recommend one of these. I also carry a leaf blower because I found that sometimes with the dog hair it's actually easier to just blow the hair out rather than vacuum it up. Our bathroom in the camper is a wet bath, so that means that we have a toilet and a shower in here all in one space. We found that the more things that we can mount on the wall means less things that we have rolling around. So this soap shampoo dispenser has been huge for us in helping save space in the bathroom and make things really easy to get to. By mounting our toilet paper and our soap, shampoo, and body wash on the wall, it's one less thing that we need to stuff in a cabinet or that's rolling around. Another thing that's been a really big space saver for us is these folding coat hooks that we can hang clothes to dry or we can hang our towel, but when we're in the shower, we can fold them up so they're out of our way. I don't need much to be happy, but I do need my morning coffee. This little pour over coffee maker has been the simplest and least messy solution that we've found that still makes really good coffee. To heat the water for our morning coffee, we use this little electric kettle off the battery bank of the camper. It's super convenient and super quick. Water is limited on board the camper, so we like the pour over because we can simply just throw the filter away when we're done and there's no mess to clean up. It's also convenient that it disassembles to fit in our small drawer. And this built-in water dripper allows me to just fill it up to the top with hot water and I don't have to stand here and slowly pour the water over because I probably wouldn't do it very slowly. We recently gifted this cool French press from our friends the Mortels. It's even got a picture of their truck and camper on it. This thing makes delicious coffee and it's also cool that we can take it on the go, but it does require a little more cleanup. So we like having both options. And I'm a princess and I like lattes. So I travel with a milk frother. Since our camper system has plenty of power, this isn't really a big deal to travel with and having a latte in the mornings makes every campsite that much better. 
Along the same lines of the soap dispensers in the shower is this super cool electric soap dispenser. It has a base that we permanently mounted to the countertop so the dispenser never goes flying. Doing dishes is never fun, but this makes things a little easier and it prevents the bottle of soap from spilling all over the place. In all of our travels, only one road has made that go flying and that's the road to our property. At one point, this faucet was a super cool touch faucet. All you did was tap on and tap off which saved a lot of water. But early on in living in this camper, we let it get way too cold in this bike box. The controller froze solid and started leaking. We had to remove it and we've never replaced it. That's something I'd really like to have back. My final favorite hack of our camper is this plant. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Another hack that's been a game changer for having dogs in a camper is this spill-proof water bowl. It's silicone, so if you drop it on your foot, it doesn't hurt. I wonder how I know that. But also, it's got this lip that kind of curls over so that even when Riley drives way too fast on really bumpy roads, the water doesn't slosh everywhere. This is nice because it means we can have it anywhere in the camper, but we have found that the best place to store it is in the shower. We just leave the bathroom door open and then the dogs can make as big of a mess as they want and it drains out the floor. Now I'm gonna try to spill it. That's actually way more difficult than I expected it to be. When we have the deck out, we can put our shoes out there, but I also wanted a solution for inside in winter. And so I found this tray. If it's really nice in the doorway and it means that we can leave our muddy, wet shoes right here and keep them inside, but they're not getting the camper floor dirty. And then when we go to the car wash, we just pull the tray out and rinse it off just like the truck floor mats. It almost just fell. So that's just a few of our favorite tips and tricks that have made living in this camper a lot easier for us. RV season is here and we are excited to hear what you have planned. So drop down in the comments below what your next trip is. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.